All right, Cradle Song. Uh, I'll quickly go, I'll, I'll play the song first, and then I'm going to work mostly on the left hand of this song. So here we go. So I was noticing as I played through this song that my fingering was not really exactly like it is in the book. And I think there's a lot of fingering in the book that you can, oh, maybe ignore some of the times when you're going like, you know, changing fingers on the notes. If you don't quite get that right, that's perfectly all right. Um, let's take a look at the left hand. So the first line's easy enough. Every other note's a G, so just concentrate on the bottom notes and, and bring them out slightly. Keep your thumb very soft because that note just goes over and over again. You don't want it to sound like this. All right, let's do it the other way. That's the first line, and I was keeping my thumb really soft. Next line starts with fourth finger on D sharp, and you've got second finger on F sharp, and an A. Now notice there in measure seven uh, that you start on F sharp, and you're really making a little D major chord, and actually you're going to be making like a D7 chord. So there's the D chord. I think it's easier actually to put your four there, but uh, you could do three. And reach up to C there. And then you're ending with a little G major chord. Okay, next line, starting with a C major chord. Okay, and the one that students always get wrong is not the C major, but this one that comes next, D, B, F. And the last line, starting way down on a low G, we've really got three chords here, this one, this one, and this one. Notice the first one and the third one are very similar. They're both G7. So here we go. Now, I'm going to go very slowly through the song Hands Together, and we're just going to notice all the spots where we have what's called a dissonance. And a dissonance is something like, you know, this or this, you know, two notes that don't really sound very good together, at least not if you stop and focus on them. But as you play the piece, these dissonances go by very quickly, and uh, our ears kind of combine all the sounds together, and it sounds a lot better that way. So let's go slowly. See, everything's pretty harmonious here. problems there, all right? Right there, that's a dissonance, because see it's C and B, okay, C and B. So third line, or second line again. See, it goes right from that dissonance to a nice consonance. All right, next line. Right there, a little bit of one, all right, so.
So uh, not, not as many dissonances as I thought was in there. Uh, but there it is, hands together. Uh, good luck with this song. It's a good song to work on one line at a time. You know, play it through each hand a few times, do it hands together a bunch of times, and then go on to the next line. And as you improve, you know, you go back and start maybe playing two lines together and uh, making sure you have it uh, learned pretty well. And if you do, then play the whole song. Have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs>